Are you ready for winter power outages? I'm always looking through articles and seeing what's going on around us. And there are gas shortages, fuel shortages worldwide. There's all these shortages and I know a lot of it is man-made and that is a big problem for us, especially in the colder climates, people that rely on fuel to heat their homes to keep them warm. That is going to be a big problem over the winter. There was an article in a local newspaper that Maine could see rolling outages over the winter months because of fuel shortages and things like that. And those are things that we really need to keep an eye on and pay attention to because if we're not prepared, it could be absolutely disastrous and deadly for us and our families. So I think it's really important if you don't have a plan right now, if you don't have backup heat, you don't have solar or whatever it is, we have wood, so if the power works or not, we still have at least heat. And I think that people really need to figure out what they have. There are those little Mr. Heater, I think they're called buddy heaters. A lot of people use those and have those for backups. They take the little propane tanks that you can get at most hardware stores or Walmart. You can get them all over the place, really. There are, they have those little heaters for indoors. Some people have little candle heaters, things that they can use in their homes just to keep warm. If you are having a rolling blackout in the colder temperatures, it really can be deadly. And if you don't have a backup, make sure, and even if you do have a backup, you should have some sort of plan in place. If it's go to grandma's house who has a wood stove, when the power goes down at a certain amount of hours, you may have to leave your home if it gets too cold. It really, it has happened here in our state over the years. I have seen people have had to leave their homes and not because lack of fuel to run the power, but ice storms, snow storms, things like that, knock power out for a week, two weeks, three weeks. It happens. So it's something that we really need to keep our eye on and watch how this is progressing. And this fuel problem that we're having right now is not just the United States. It is really around the globe. Other countries are competing for the same fuel. Everybody's competing for the same stuff. They all want it. Their country needs it to keep their heat going, to keep their power going, all those things, their vehicles. And prices are rising, it's getting more and more difficult. So sitting down with your family and putting a plan together, really it doesn't have to be a difficult thing or anything hard, just so everything, everybody's on the same page and you know exactly what to do when something happens. If you are reliant on electricity, to keep your heating source running. I think it is very important to have a plan in place. If you don't have backup heating, what are you going to do? Figure out with your family what works for everybody. If you're planning on going to Aunt Mabel's house, call Aunt Mabel and talk with her about it. Make sure she's prepared to have you. <laughs> you know, that's another thing. And don't show up empty handed. Bring some of the, that emergency food with you if you're going to be there for a few days or a week. You know, be prepared to not make it difficult on other family members if you have to go there. I think that is another big key to it. And let them know. Call her up and say, hey, you know, we're trying to put a plan together for an emergency. This is, uh, this is what we'd like to do. How do you feel about it? We would be bringing A, B, C, D, and E. So you're not you know we don't want to put you out at all and things like that that's going to be the easiest for you it's going to help you have a plan and be secure and everybody in your family when you sit down and discuss this everyone in the family will know exactly what to do what they need to bring when you're going to go if the power goes out 
you could probably last six hours. After six, eight hours with no heat, it's going to, the house is really going to start chilling down after that in a cold climate. So I think this is just something we need to look at, prepare for, and get ready. This is this mess in this world is not going away anytime soon, and we need to make sure we are ready for it. So I love having a plan in place for whatever different kinds of disasters. We have all sorts of plans. Everybody knows where we meet together, where we're going to go to, what's going to happen in the process. That way everyone's on the same page, especially if you have children that have a hard time with uh, change and things like that. We have a child that upsetting the schedule can be really rough on her. So we like to make sure that everybody's aware of it, everyone's on the same page, and it really helps out. So when an emergency happens, something goes down, and we've got to throw stuff together and run out the door, or have someone come and stay, or whatever the plan is, then we're prepared to do it and the kids understand that this is going to happen so that's another thing to think of is how to keep your kids involved in this so they're aware if this happens then we're gonna go do this and it'll be a fun adventure that's a great way to look at it for the kids and they're ready for it that way <laughs> and that is all I wanted to talk about today I just I saw that about rolling blackouts, you know, they compared, you know, like in third world countries this could happen, like California, and it's really sad that that's something that they have to put up with all the time, and it's sad that we have to put up with it this day and age, and, you know, but it is what it is, and we need to be ready for it, so that is it for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, I'll see you in the next video, bye!